$13.98 for this fabulous dishwasher safe beauty. We have colors like we've never seen before. We've got non-stick, and this is something that you designed, and you said, we need to partner with Kuhn Recon. Mm -hmm. We need to bring this to QVC. And this is about melding a lot of different pieces of cookware. What I love about this is you got not only the non-stick interior, you got non-stick on the non-stick on the exterior. This is a pan that you will not find in any. I'm going to repeat that. You'll never find in any cookware set you own. You can collect a lot of cookware like Jane and I do. Everything from cast iron to enamel to a hard anodized to stainless steel, you will not get this. So it's no. a great accompaniment to any cookware and any type of chef you are or home cook, this will work for you and be a great add-on. So and we love First that. time ever we've got gorgeous colors. So okay. you know how David's foodies love their red mm -hmm. and everything is about it in red. Even the handle on the inside of the basket that's included yep, has that silicone nonstick red okay if you're looking for a great gift hello it is like pennies a day on easy pay there's your black and next to that we have that olive. beautiful olive which is kind of that big fashion color hello mm -hmm. Julia and by the way Monday. this is modeled after my kitchen walls because this is the color of my kitchen walls oh, I love that so. look at this gorgeous blue we're just calling it blue but blue. it is like it's Sleeping Beauty turquoise blue is what okay. it looks like, right? Okay. And then next to that is purple. We love purple. Love the pop of We're purple. We're calling that eggplant, I believe. Eggplant, yes. And then we've got your orange, which I think is a great way great. to celebrate fall. 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 You can't fall. get better than that. Orange fall. Okay, now show okay. us what this does. So we just talked about, did you see the capacity that came out of that nonstick pan? I mean, Huge. that's enough pasta for a good, I mean, at least a family of four, mm -hmm. probably family of six. I have two of them because not only is it great for just pasta, notice the straining out, but then you're able to do some tomato sauce on top of it. Whether this is mama's oh, homemade one good. that you made in the, during the winter and you froze, or you just have a great jar that you added some spices to, it's just great to have something that pours out gravies right. and sauces makes the pasta but and this the, is a huge amount of food so why do you call it the fourth burner pot okay so in the back of your stove the smallest little burner is where your tea kettle sits mm -hmm. beautiful tea kettle i'm sure it's great and all it does is boil water mm -hmm. the problem is with that is i want this to boil water like this but do a whole lot more so here's your teapot okay, okay. but with the straining lens remember you get small and large there's the small and then there's the large size. I'm gonna put the small on because in here, I put the tea bags, I put some cinnamon sticks, and some orange cut up in there. I infuse my own tea instead of just boiling water, and you've got beautiful tea. Now this could be hot tea, cold tea, oh, mulled nice. wine, hot chocolates, that's nice. coffees, flavored coffees, you name it, you can do it with this. Oh, that this is so, so much more than your teapot could ever do mm -hmm. on that back burner. I want you to leave it on your stove because of the color and because it's a vertical pot oh. that creates more than just heat. Was that great? I, I feel better right now yep. just smelling this. And again, it is our fall cooking on cue. This is the big four hour grand finale in the kitchen with David. 4,000 of these have been ordered today, yeah. but everybody wanted this in nonstick. Yep. So first time in nonstick, first time in color. Mm -hmm. How about that with the pot stickers yep. we just exactly. had? Exactly. You cakes. can steam in this, you can boil it. It's a steamer, it's an asparagus cooker. It's a teapot, like we said. My rule of thumb is when in green, steam, because I want you to keep the nutrients in there. Oh, I and love there's that. nothing that tells you more about it then what was one of the inspirations was a vertical asparagus steamer right and here's the thing this is a half a cup of water six minutes and you do the perfect asparagus every time and it stays crispy and all the nutrients don't boil out your nutrients no. mm -mm. so when green steam in this okay i love that and so, you know what people would like register for the fancy asparagus cooker yep. and then mark charles came along and said wait a minute get the teapot off the stove yep. use this to boil water did and you make me brussels sprouts brussels sprouts now here's <laughs> the thing a lot of people don't like brussels sprouts why so here's my little tip Take Brussels sprouts, put them in the steaming basket for about four or five minutes with a half a cup of water. Then I want you to slice them in half, mm -hmm. really, really hot cast iron pan with some olive oil, some butter, and some garlic, and you pan sear them in. Then add some Parmesan on the top. You will Ooh. love could you I add some balsamic them? drizzle to sure that, Sure, you baby. could. Ooh. But a lot of people are fearful of, of uh, Brussels sprouts. I know you're not. Oh, I love But them. I think that's a way to put a twist on it with a little bit of garlic and Parmesan cheese. And eventually your kids will love it. Kara loves them. Deirdre, not yet, but we're getting there. She's okay. getting there. She's getting there. And, of course, so many of you buy this for the hard-boiled eggs. For the hard-boiled eggs, because look at it. If someone said to you, please take 16 eggs and boil them for me, what would you do? <laughs> you get the largest pot you own. I know it, because that's all we know. You'd fill it with water. Yeah, think Talk of about Easter, how right? long it would take to boil that pot. Think about the fact that I have probably six and a half cups of water doing 16 eggs, right? And 
no rolling boil, so less time, less energy, right. less water, and less heartache. And we're not done. So remember, okay. the colors are red, black, and the beautiful olive, the orange, the eggplant, the blue. We've sold well over 4,000 on the day, and maybe you're having, we talked about that Oktoberfest. Uh -huh. How about this for an Oktoberfest Absolutely. Party? Bratwurst and hot dogs. You can steam or boil them. This one we chose 24 hot dogs. Wow. We chose to boil them. 24 but hot dogs in, in what? Like a couple inches, yeah, right? Yeah. It's like, so we're talking about about four cups of water, yeah. if that. Okay? It's like less than six inches in diameter. And then okay. you get a second one and you do the... Um, you do the, the uh, soup. What do you put on top of hot dogs? What is my problem? Hello? Uh, um, sauerkraut. Sauerkraut. Thank you, Mark Charles. I'm glad you're here <laughs> because here I don't you. know what I'm talking about. And I love the fact that you don't need a ladle, so if you're going to do soup, whether it's mama's homemade or just the old good old can, you're able to pour that on. That's what makes it special right. with the vertical and the pour spot, which you normally don't get in a sauce pot. Or David's you have recipe now, right? tonight, you could saute the onions and Perfect. the garlic, Ooh, right? Yep. Okay, what are we doing garlic? now? Okay, this is, is one of my favorites. This is Mark Charles' favorite moment. If you want to actually be like really impressive to anybody and have what's known as an expensive appetizer, take some olive oil, some okay. herbs, some butter, some garlic, mm -hmm. and then I want you to steam some mussels or bait, little neck clams. You're gonna um, stream that. out that sauce because that's your dipping sauce. You never get rid of that, right? All that butter and olive oil. Whoa. And look, that's all, I mean, throw the whole thing in the dishwasher. How cool is that? And look what you just made yeah. that I would say is a restaurant appetizer. Oh, absolutely. In By the way, in six minutes. Steamed. In six minutes. Come okay. On. So first time ever in color. First time ever in, in nonstick. We have the red, we have black, we have olive, we have blue, we have eggplant, we have orange, because it is our fall cook it on cue. Yep. And Mark Charles Maselli designed it. First of all, I cannot believe I'm looking around. Well, I'm not asking you a trivia question. <laughs> This is, must be my oh, wait, special day. wait, hold on. Oh. Hold on, Liz just in. Well, would you look at the time, gotta go. Sorry, no, okay, true or false? I can't believe you just. True or false? Okay, what, what? You're supposed to say true, true or false? What? <laughs> I just say true. <laughs> true. <laughs> okay, like... true or false? <laughs> Tomatoes are vegetables. Oh, false. Because they're they're fr they're fruit. Yes, they're part of the fruit. Because they have seeds in them. Yeah. <laughs> it's the dance. Happy dance. Happy dance. Happy dance. Okay, I gotta get moving. I Sorry. love you. Bye, TV love husband. You. Bye, bye. <laughs> so glad the restraining order is over. Okay. Okay. So coming up in about ten minutes, Miss Tara McConnell. And we won't talk about the sleepovers that Tara and Mark Charles and I have had. Okay, we're not going to talk about that on that live on national television, but we have. This is our today's special value. It's taken over two years for us to bring in a Temptations dinnerware set. It, I have like green, solid green dinnerware, and I've been looking for a way to play with it. And then, thank you, Tara, for bringing this to QVC. It's today and today only at this price, and it is coming your way again on an easy pay of $23.32.